Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for joining Scrapbook Sunday 101. I am going to get started with my final touches on my cross-country trip. Don't forget that you can check out the apparel shop where you can get the scrapbooking mug or stamping mug, sweatshirts, and t-shirts at StampersDelightShop.com. Also, you can join in on my March Funfold Club or class with the... Uh, a latte love sweet. All the links are below. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Just gonna have a little of my coffee right now. And you can see that I have some pieces already out here. Now, if you've been following my pages, I'm gonna move these out of the way here. I'll probably lose some of them. My first page I wasn't happy with, and that's what I said. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay. My first page I decided I wasn't really happy with. I'm going to move these over, and these, and these. Okay. So I took it apart, <laughs> and that's what I said. I, I put everything together, but then sometimes I change things around. So this was the first page I did, which I took apart. And instead, what I decided to do was take a piece of black... 12 by 12 cardstock, and then another piece of the red, real red, eight and a half by 11. Just gonna add a little stamp and seal to that. I'm gonna lay that in the middle like this. Then I have a piece of our designer series paper from our celebration items. And don't forget to check out what celebration items I have left. And I am doing my own celebration. So check out the list of what's left and how you can get that. So this was a piece of six by six that I had left. And I, I don't know if I'm going to trim it down. I might just leave it full. It's a little bit long. I'm going to just trim off a little bit right here. Yeah, I wasn't happy with the first page, so I decided to change it. And I just cut it all apart. And I'm going to lay this right here because I love that paper. The other side is nice, too, but it's hearts, and I didn't want that. I wanted something with a little shine. So I am going to go ahead and add that, grabbing a little bit of that red on each side. And this is the pieces that I took apart from the other page. And of course, this is us starting our journey in September. Now you can see I just cut it all up. I'm just gonna add some more stamp and seal. Let me get the edges there. And I'm gonna add that right here. We started out in New York, cause two of us live in New York. And we picked my one girlfriend up in New Jersey. And then the final pickup was in North Carolina. So I'm going to add that one in there. I didn't want to have to redo all those um, letters. So again, I just cut it apart. So that was the morning we left. Now, what I did was I went on my computer and I typed a little journaling that Patty Barbara, Pat and I embarked on a cross country journey to deliver Reggie's car to Ryan and Selena in California. It was a trip filled with laughter and tears reminiscent of our adventures from past. The four of us have shared countless memories and this journey reignited the joy of our friendship. Time may pass, but the bonds we share are timeless. Here's to a lifetime of cherish cherished memories and enduring friendships. So there's nothing wrong with using your computer to write down some journaling. I'm gonna put that right there. And this is just computer paper, it's okay. Sometimes I, I write my own handwriting and journaling and it never fails. I make a mistake and then I have to start all over. So that is gonna be my first page right there. Let's bring this down a little bit more. You can see my messy desk. There is the first page. 
this page was when we got to Tennessee, and I think I've got enough on here for now <laughs> because I have some elements here and smiles across the miles and when we went to Tennessee. Then we have Nashville. Now I have a couple things I want to add to Nashville. So here's the first page in Nashville, and here's the second page. This one already has some elements on it, so I'm going to hold off on that one and see what I have left for Nashville. So I have another guitar pick from Old Red, and I think I'm going to add that on this one, maybe right there. So for that, I'm going to grab a dimensional. These will be in page protectors. I know I hate to put that little dog face on the bottom, but I want the name of where we've been. So I'm going to add that right there by the guitar, the guitar pick. So I have a little something on that page. So now that's a two-page layout that I have. Again, let's just bring this down as far as I can so you can see most of it. And then we have Memphis. And I just put Memphis with the guitars. I don't know that I'm going to add anything more on there. I have to look at what I put up here. Let's see. Anything is possible. Going places. Wandering. I think. No, I'm going to save that. So this one, I have some elements here. And I may go back to that page. I'm not sure. This page is just some of the road signs as we hit different um, cities, states. We have when we got to New Mexico. And let's just see. I have these little, these little guys right here. They were, I have some scrapbooking stuff that isn't stamping up. And I'm just looking to see if I want to use any of these. That one, that one matches the color. I'm looking for the colors. Another day in paradise. Maybe I'll add that one right there. Again, I think I'll grab some paradise, meaning our great road trip. I'm going to add that one on there. in New Mexico. Let's see. I'm just looking through these because I did have some up here I want to use, but I may change my mind again. Okay, so there is New Mexico. And of course we have the Grand Canyon and I have a few things there. I think that one's good. And this is the Grand Canyon. Now for the Grand Canyon, I did find the hotel that we stayed at, which was the Red Feather Lodge. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe add this. See, I have that. I might wanna add this one in there. So maybe I'll just add this somewhere. All right, if I lift this up gently, maybe I can change that. Uh, I think I'll just slide it right in there. I'm going to lift this up. I might have to... If I do it gently, I might not rip it. I change my mind all the time, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that right there. So now what I have to do, obviously, is I have to glue this down. So I'm going to add that right there. And then I will just add, I had a dimensional on here, but I'm just going to add a little stamp and seal. So now I have the key card to the Grand Canyon. Sedona, I'm happy with. I have enough on there. 
Maybe some elements. We'll see some gems or something. Vegas. Okay, so this one on Vegas. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. I have enough stuff on this one. But I have a second page here. Actually, I have a few pages from Vegas. This one, I have our key card from the hotel room. And also my gambling card. So I am going to add those. Now I have some more elements on that. So this one is good. That one's good. This one doesn't really need anything. It's got Lady Gaga on there and some elements. And I want that to be my focal point. And then we have more from Vegas right here. And again, I think I'm going to leave that. This is when we hit California. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Let me back that up a minute. I have a couple other things here. I have some of these little vouchers from the different um, casinos that we went to. So I have the Bellagio, the Venetian, and the Aria. I am going to lift this up, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to lift that paper, that picture up, and slide them under there. Let's see if I can do it. This is the way I roll when I'm doing projects. Don't want to mess it up. But if I lift it up gently, I'm going to take those tickets with the name of the places. I'm going to try. There we go. I'm going to put them up this way. But the names are the other way, so let's flip that around. I'm just going to lift that up. Yep, that's good. I'm going to put a little stamp and seal on these, keeping them fanned out. I mean, once when you're in Vegas, you go through a casino, you have to at least put a dollar in a machine, right? So I kind of want the names. There we go. Just a little bit more up there. Okay. And I'll just sort of fan these out a little bit. There we go. And then I'll just add a little bit more adhesive under here. Now I have that one. Okay, the other ones were good. This is when we got to California. This little card right here looks pretty cute. But I don't want to, I don't know if I'm going to use that one there yet. We'll see. All right. Then I'm going to bring in this one. This is when my son met us there. This one, I am going to add some of the letters from our mini alphabet. And I'm going to take, some of my letters had the adhesive, some didn't. So I'm using my uh, glue press. And I'm going to put, whoop. hopefully I didn't lose any of my letters. I don't net, I don't uh, line things up. You can use a ruler if you want them straight. Sometimes I do them off center and not straight. So this way it looks like that's the way I wanted to do it. I'm going to put family because these girls are not just my friends. They are my family. Make 
making sure I spelled everything right. Whoop, that one came off. Okay, now for this one, let's go back to this one too. I want to add some gems. <clears throat> and what I thought would work really well here is my Tinsel 3-pack. This, These colors right here match pretty good. So I'm going to add some elements. some down here oh, I want a large one and I think I'm gonna add some small ones right there just make those words pop out a little bit Remember, this is your page. This is for you or your family. All about the memories. So I added those. And this one, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to add some of these. I'm going to add some large ones because they really do show up. down here. So now I have some of those little gems on there that totally match, but make that pop out. I'm going to keep these over here because they have all the colors that I wanted to use. <coughs> Okay, so this was the Santa Monica Pier in Venice Beach. I don't need those, so I'm going to take this. That one's good. I'll, put, I'll add some gems on there. This one, I'm going to add some words. Again, these are the mini, the mini uh, dies, alphabet dies. And I am going to add it this way. Oh, this one has this one has the adhesive on it. Some of these have my adhesive on there. If you use our adhesive sheets, you can just peel that off. This one does not. Just a little glue will work. Those letters don't go here. Ooh, my eye looks very strange. Let's Let's grab another eye. Somewhere around here are my letters. Let's see if I have another eye. There we go. Have you ever done a scrapbook page or even a card and you use letters like this and then you realized you spelled it wrong? <laughs> Been there, done that. Only need a little glue because they're very small. The S I need, the M I don't. D. Let's see, do I have another D here? I don't know where my other ones are. 
Yeah, let's see. I know I have a D right here, so we'll use this one for now. Probably all got mixed up. That's why I shouldn't have moved them, but I did. So we're going to peel that off. Doesn't matter how organized I think I am. Okay. And there's my S. So there we have the friends. I'm going to bring those gems back in. And add some of those. I've had people ask me about getting into scrapbooking. The only thing I can tell you is just start. Take a picture or a couple pictures and start putting them on paper. Okay, so I have a few gems there, and now it says friends. This one really does have quite a bit that I don't need to really add anything. But let's see what this says. Let's just see if I have anything here. Let's go anywhere, relax. Oh, here's a little blue one. Oh, here's some up here. Explore. Well, we did, we did explore. Explore new places. That little vacation is too small, so let me see if I have something here that I can add to it that I'm going to like. Like a strip of paper or... I don't like that one. Let me just add it like here. What do you think? The sunglasses could go right here. Oh, okay, so let's just check this out. Let's slide that right under there. Yeah, I like that. Add the sunglasses. Making sure it doesn't go over my paper, though. And then that little vacation will fit on there. Again, these are just pieces that I had from other scrapbook kits. Vacation. Exploring new places. I'm going to bring in some of those gems. I think I will put, you know me with my rhinestone glasses. I'm going to have some rhinestones on there. Just a couple little elements on that one. Now let's bring in Rodeo Drive. I have two here. So this is, I don't know, this was, whoop. This was a store that we went into and you can take these little fake monies, skull heads. I don't think I want that. I am going to put, let's see, where do I have more room? Right here. All right, let's see if this will fit. R. O. D. E. I think it will. Rodeo Drive. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put Rodeo Drive here. Again, this one had the adhesive on it. And this one I'm going to try to line up pretty close to here because the words are a little bit longer. This 
So Deo Drive was definitely a sight to see. When I think of Rodeo Drive, I think of the movie Pretty Woman. We did not buy anything there. <laughs> Deo. This has the adhesive. It is a lot easier if you have the adhesive sheets. I just cut up a bunch of letters for a class that I was doing. So now I have them in a little plastic container and then drive. That one I want a little further away or spread a little further than that. Let's do this one. This one needs glue. Deo Drive. Now, bringing in those gems again, you can see that I have some of the colors very similar to what I'm using. It really makes the pictures pop a little bit more. That one's a little crooked. And let's add three down here by Tiffany's. And there I have some gems for Rodeo Drive. <clears throat> I'm going to add some gems to this one. So let me open a new pack. Again, these are our tinsel three pack. And you can't see it, but there is a little tinsel there. Let's just open this one up. I'll add some right in the middle. some down here. I'm using the larger ones. And let's see. The, do I want to use anything here? Oh, how about... <laughs> this is cute. How about Passport to Paradise? It is paradise in those stores. So I'm going to add that little Passport to Paradise. I'm going to add that right here. There you go. So there's my Rodeo Drive one. So they are finished now. And the very last two pages was, of course, us having dinner. Let's see what little cards I have here that I might want to use. I don't want to use that one. Hmm. I'm going to grab this one right here that says happiness is around the corner because it was a happy time. I don't like that. <laughs> I might just leave this one the way it is. Kind of like it by itself. And I might add some journaling here. So I have this little card that says memories. I think I'm going to add that right there. And then I'm going to fill it in about dinner later. And let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little journaling to that one later. And then the very last one, and I wanted this to be my last page of Ryan and Selena getting the keys to the car. I found this little piece of wood chipboard 
And this was from a Stampin' Up! Memories and More kit years ago. And it says, Happy. And I'm going to add some liquid glue. Now, again, this is a liquid glue press, but it's got my Tombow in it because that's refillable. I'm going to add that happy right there. And I think I am done. Let me just look and see if I had anything else that I thought I might want to use here. I had a couple more pieces, but I didn't really like the colors that went to that, so I wasn't going to use those. So again, that is going to be my last page. Says it all. They're happy. We're happy. And then I'll fill that one in later. See, it's got all those nice little hearts, so I really didn't need any gems. Of course, we have Rodeo Drive. A couple little elements there. What's this one? Away we go. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I forgot I had that. Away we go. Away they go in their new car. I'm going to use that little guy. Have a Rodeo Drive, <clears throat> Santa Monica Pier, and Venice Beach. And of course, Cali, friends and family. And we have Vegas. And of course, some more in Vegas. <laughs> we have Sedona and the Grand Canyon. I'll have still shots on my newsletter and blog later today. New Mexico. Memphis. Our signs. We have more from Memphis. And then, of course, we have Nashville. And Tennessee, which is in Nash Nashville, is in Tennessee, but we, we've stayed outside in Nashville. And, of course, my very first page, which tells the whole story, really. I hope you enjoyed taking this um, cross-country trip with me. I enjoyed having you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Again, it's not about the pictures. It's about the memories. So even if you have pictures that aren't that great, when you look at a picture, the memory and the time comes right back. You're right back there, right? So just get those on paper, and the rest will come together. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Bye, scrapbookers.